Here's one more example for you. A data set of precipitation is normally distributed with a mean of 101.47 centimeters and a standard deviation of 19.05 centimeters. What amount of precipitation is likely to be exceeded by only 10% of years? What precipitation level is exceeded by only 10% of the years? So in other words, what we are doing is we're, dr in order to draw this out, we want to know what level of precipitation, so that's going to be a z-score, has only 10% of the area to the right of it. So what value of z only has 10% to the right? Now based on the symmetry property, we know, sorry, yes, well, more or less, based on the symmetry property, we know that if a z-score has 10% to the right of it, it has to have 40% between 0 and z. So what we're going to do is look inside our table for the area that corresponds to the probability equals 40%. That's going to give us the appropriate z to use. And then we need to convert this z, convert it back into an x to find the precipitation level that is only exceeded by 10%. So let's scan our table. There's no shortcuts here. We essentially need to scan the insides of our table, inside here, for the value that gives us closest to 40% of the area. And we found that to be 1.28. Z equals 1.28. So going back to our image now, we see that this z-score over here is 1.28 because that gives us 40% in this area and 10% over here. Now we need to calculate an x from the z-score. And all I've done is if z equals x minus x bar over s, then we can solve for x and find that x equals s times z plus x bar. So in our case, x is unknown. So x equals s. s was 19.05. The z score we just calculated was 1.28. And the mean precipitation was 101.47. And that equals 125.854. Now, we just need to write it and say, only 10% of years are likely to exceed 125.854 centimeters of annual rainfall.